everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the Family Guy Simpsons crossover episode titled The Simpsons Guy. So that's right, we've been waiting for a year now for a Family Guy slash The Simpsons crossover, and it is the season premiere for Family Guy. And so, what is this crossover about? Well, this crossover is about when Peter reads these comic strips from a newspaper and he thinks they suck. So he's all like, you know what, I could be a better cartoonist than that. When he writes his own strip, it becomes offensive to the women at Quahog. They all leave town and somehow they end up finding Springfield where the Simpsons live and they stay at the Simpsons home for a while while they are trying to find their stolen car since they can't seem to find their car anywhere to get back home. So while we see the Griffin family with the Simpsons family, we get to see Homer and Peter hang out with each other. They argue with which beer is better and they start off as friends, but they get into a little argument as the crossover episode progresses. You have Chris and Brian that take Santa's little helper to a walk and Brian, he unleashes Santa's little helper, meaning that he lost Santa's little helper and there might be no way for him to come home. We see Lisa try to help Meg find her talent because Meg thinks that she is not good at anything and Lois and Marge, well, they're there. So, this Family Guy Simpsons crossover, does it disappoint? No, it doesn't. In my opinion, it doesn't. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome episode. I really mean that. This crossover gave me a big old smile on my face. The storyline, first of all, is very well written. I loved how they planned out the whole story, and it's all because it started off with Peter writing a comic strip. I really enjoyed that idea. And I mean, with these two popular shows, how can they not have a crossover together? What makes this crossover so awesome is how it blends the humor with Family Guy and The Simpsons. And this crossover was also very self-aware because you could kind of see that poking fun at each other. Like the shows, like Family Guy pokes fun at The Simpsons and The Simpsons would poke fun at Family Guy. Bart is known for his famous eat my shorts catchphrase while Stewie is known for his what the deuce catchphrase and Brian actually addressed how eat my shorts is a more popular catchphrase than what the deuce which I really just loved how the shows kind of poke at each other back and forth. I loved how the Family Guy type of humor was blended along with the Simpsons type of humor. They managed to make that work, which I'm sure that was not an easy thing to do, but how the writers pulled that off and how they were able to combine that, it was just really cool to see. Obviously, you could see a major difference when Bart and Stewie were doing that prank call in that one scene. You know, Brian says something just you know, mild, but Stewie, he just takes it to a whole nother level. And that kind of gives you the idea that Family Guy's humor, yeah, it's far different from the Simpsons type of humor. The animation style, what can I say? How the Simpsons animation blends in Family Guy's animation form. It was really cool. It was really nice to see Homer and Peter bond with each other. And let's face it, that is what truly makes this crossover awesome. Yeah, I enjoyed Stewie and Bart's plot. I enjoyed the Meg and Lisa plot. Brian and Chris's plot, it's all like, you know, I enjoyed it, and Marge and Lois are just there. They didn't really have a plot of their own, but Peter and Homer make this episode. Seriously, without those two main stars of the main shows, this crossover wouldn't be anywhere near as good. They just, they just pulled it off so well. There is this one scene with the car wash it was 
the funniest part right next to the epic fight which I'll get to in a little bit car wash scene was hilarious I could not stop laughing it's the hardest I laughed at a moment in quite a long time just that scene alone is very funny and you never think you would see Homer do that kind of form but when you see Homer it's just all like wow okay and then they even do callbacks of some of the humor they would do in the past like they kind of brought back the Kool-Aid joke except not in the same way they did in a different type of way which I thought was hilarious and overall I just loved how this crossover was very self-aware with one another. Lisa trying to help Meg find a talent that was really nice to see and it was really funny how all along Meg is actually good at you know, playing Lisa's saxophone. Believe it or not, she was good at the saxophone, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, whoever knew. It's nice to see Lisa do something nice for Meg because obviously Meg gets put down a lot and you see that throughout this episode. It kind of added that nice heartwarming moment right there, which I really do appreciate. You got a couple of unexpected cameos along the way. Like there's this cutscene where Peter and Homer are in an airplane and Bob from Bob's Burgers makes a cameo that was hilarious right there. It was unexpected. I also loved how Roger from American Dad actually made a cameo in here too. That was unexpected to see. Just in that one court scene, you got to see Cleveland and Carl into one room and that brief moment with them was pure comedy gold right there. Mayor West and the Mayor of Springfield talking to each other. <laughs> that was also really funny. So I loved how all the other supporting characters from the two shows were in that courtroom for that brief little time and managed to make that work. But then of course I just have to get to the part that was just so epic and that is the fight with Homer and Peter. Wow holy crap that was an epic fight. In a way probably more epic than some of the Peter chicken fights we've been seeing in the past. Like those are epic but it's all like how they handled it with Peter and Homer. It was really entertaining to see and they just pushed the boundaries. You'll see them fly up in space fighting. It goes all crazy. It was very funny. I was laughing my ass off but of course what makes it so epic is the fact that Peter from Family Guy and Homer from The Simpsons are just fighting each other. It gets bloody, it gets brutal. And I really did love how towards the end the two of them really seem to acknowledge each other. Even if they may not be the best of friends, they even said themselves that they acknowledge each other for what they were. And I thought that added a little bit of nice heart to it. So I really did love how they pulled that off. As for the Stewie and Bart plot, I really enjoyed how Stewie was looking after Bart by kidnapping Nelson. Bart and Stewie plot really nice. You see Stewie do what Bart does on the intro for The Simpsons, which is writing on the chalkboard. So it's cool to see Stewie do that and just kind of take a nod of that for the Simpsons fans. My only flaws with this crossover episode is that Lois and Marge are there. You don't see them hang out. When I say they're just there, they really are just there. Brian and Chris plot, that was just kind of there too. It's all like they didn't need to really add that plot. So it's all like in this crossover episode, I wish Brian, Chris, Marge and Lois actually did something. The Simpsons Family Guy crossover is awesome. It's nice to see these two shows come together. It has a very good storyline. It has a very good balance of the Simpsons type humor and the Family Guy type humor. I loved almost everything about it. In my humble opinion, it was worth the one year long wait. Seth MacFarlane and Matt Groening, thank you guys so much for coming up with this idea. Thank you for giving us this amazing crossover. Whether you're a fan of these shows or not, it's just still cool to actually finally get a crossover. Will the Simpsons Futurama crossover top this? I don't know, but I guess we'll see when that one comes out. But all I know is that this crossover just pretty much gave me everything I wanted. So, the Simpsons guy, the one hour Family Guy Simpsons crossover gets a nine 
out of 10. Seriously, you guys, this is a very cool crossover. Uh, what can I say? It just made me very satisfied. So in the comments down below, tell me right here, what did you think of this crossover? This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!